Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of CJ's Coins and Crafts. This is an update on a video that I did a while back for that uh, coin project that I was going to do for um, my my family's, um, basically my family's history. Um, so what this is, is that this is my family tree. Um, this is my, this is my concept. And uh, I have all of the birth, the birth years that they were all, um, that they were all born. And my idea was, is I was going to do um, coins, uh, pennies, um, basically pennies and Indian heads um, to represent all of the years that, uh, that they were born. So I got my, my notes down here and I actually just won uh, my last um, auction on uh, an 1867 Indian head. Um, so I won a couple of, uh, of auctions uh, in the last couple of days to get uh, some other coins that, uh, that I'll be needing. Um, so um, I have, I should have my last three coins um, all shipped on the way. Um, so I'm just going to go over some of the ones that I got recently. Um, so 1921, um, I got that one. Uh, this one is a 18... 92 Indian head. Um, I got a couple 1892 Indian heads because I needed um, I needed two. Uh, so there is number two. I don't know if you can see that. There's number two. Uh, this is a 1921 Philadelphia that I needed. Let's see. I only needed one for that. Um, some of the other coins that I got, uh, some of these I got uh, a couple extras just because uh, I needed one for this project, but I also don't have any on my books. So um, this one is also a 1921 Philadelphia that I picked up. Uh, this is one of the extra ones that I got. Um, I end up getting two or three of the 1921s. Uh, this one is just an extra. That will go in my book, but th these are the ones that I'll need, um, that I'll need for my, my project here. Um, this is a 1903. Let's see if I can get it without the glare. Or maybe not. Yep, 1903 Indian head. Um, this is an 1897 Indian head. Down right there. This is a 1890 two of those because I needed two of those this is an 1863 Indian head um, I wasn't too really concerned about the condition as long as I could read the date um, so it's especially if I could get a coin for cheaper because like the back is is completely destroyed or completely worn out or, or scratched or anything like that I was totally fine with that even 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 if it had a hole in it like it used to be on a necklace or something I didn't really care because it just adds more character uh, to the piece but I was looking for um, coins that were in, in decent condition and you could still read the date um, that was my um, the importance of uh, this is a 1903 um, Indian head that was the importance of, of what I was going after and then this one all the way down here is an 1896 Indian head um, this one I believe was sent to me by SJ okay, there we go 1896 so, um, all of these coins in here are, uh, are what I'm keeping. Um, all of these up here are just what what I went through and I picked out of what I had uh, sorted from uh, sorted from uh, boxes that I had been collecting, um, and I just sort them all. So these will all go. Um, these are ones that came out of my my I guess storage. Um, that will go into uh, into the project. So uh, I'm happy happy to announce that uh, I will be having all my coins here shortly. Uh, so that means that I can actually go through and uh, and start putting this one together. So the size of this is probably going to be about uh, about two pieces of paper, uh, about landscape big. Um, so you guys can get an idea of how um, sorry portrait uh, portrait size paper um, two sheets big. Um, it's in a, it's like a brown frame, um, and what I'll do is I'll take all the pictures and I'll put them up, 
um, the picture, the name, and then the year with the the penny um, associated to the year that they were born. Uh, and this will all be framed in. And this will go to um, uh, my grandpa and grandma that currently live in Montana. Um, that uh, the idea with this is that uh, I'll give it to them, and it will eventually be donated to the Range Riders Museum. Uh, in in Mile City, Montana, because uh, that area there's a little town called Valberg, uh, about uh, about 60 miles outside of Mile City. Um, that's where um, uh, that this this family tree goes back um, and goes back to the beginning of of Valberg in 19, uh, 1909 1911 uh, timeframe. Um, so it's really just a history of the area, and I think it's really neat that I can combine. A couple of things that I like to do as far as the research, you know, the family history and really getting the coins uh, to go to represent some of that history. Um, so this is just a uh, uh, an update video and uh, I will let you guys uh, know when I get uh, when I get more done and when I start uh, getting it designed. Thanks for watching.